Hey, what's up guys? J7 Wilson 7 here. And today on JLG Reality's channel, I am bringing you a quick 4 to 0 uh win in the search and destroy game. I do go flawless on my score as well. So we go flawless in the game score, flawless in my score, and I'm going to be using the Famas. Um obviously have Warlord on it here with the red dot side and the suppressor. And with it being a quick game, it's just uh kind of more of an uh of a video to allow you guys to see some opening routes that I take and uh the way that I approach a search and destroy match. Obviously as you can tell here, I am a uh big rushing type player. Uh even in search I don't like to sit back too much. Uh I do believe that there's some times in the search game that you should do that um more than any other game type. Now obviously I would never want to sit back and like um, a free for all, a TDM, even though I know a lot of people actually like to sit back in a TDM or something like that. In search, there's obviously some some times and some points in the game where you might feel as if you needed to sit back. However, my playstyle makes it to where uh, I really never want to do it. And uh, by that I mean I want to rush every round into the uh, other team's spawn unless I'm sniping in which I would like to take up a point about halfway between the spawns. I don't want to go all the way in it but I wouldn't like to stay back in my area. I want to push up about to the middle of the map and make it a point there to do something. Now obviously this fir the first round you saw me take this middle route right here. I think this is a good route on this map because it seems as nobody checks the middle. Uh, on this side it seems like everybody either goes left or right and nobody really takes the middle. Now obviously I run into some people every once in a while that will uh, take the middle out. But as you can see in this game, the first two rounds especially, uh, they didn't check the middle. Uh, those two, The first two guys I killed obviously went left and the last guy I killed went right and it was just easy for me to uh, take them out as they weren't expecting me. Now I obviously saw the guy when I was running to the middle off to my right side but I didn't want to take that shot there. I knew it would be much easier for me uh, to go through the middle and come up behind him instead of trying to uh, shoot him in that tight of a situation. Uh, might have not have been able to kill him right off the bat and I could have gotten into a gunfight which would have been you know obviously harder for me to win. I see that guy right in front of me there, but I don't want to take the gunfight right in front of him. I'd rather flank around uh, to get into a spot where I can kill him easier, which is right there when he tries to come through the door to get me. And it was just an easier situation uh, on me, in gunfight-wise. Uh, especially in Search and Destroy when you only have one life. I don't want to get into big face-to-face -face confrontations all the time. I want to use... Um, kind of like my brains and uh, strategy to take the person out. Now right here the bomb got defused before I could kill that guy or before he killed me. I don't really know. That was kind of an awkward situation there but they weren't really watching the bomb so they went ahead and got it defused before uh, they could really do anything and I think this round I actually have like a lot of kill streaks, and um, I've built them all pretty much up so I'm going to set my claymore back here and give myself a little bit of a base and then call in my chopper and I believe I have some other kill streaks napalm as well here <coughs> and go ahead and just call it straight back in their spawn over the b-bomb where I see our player with a bomb he is just to give him a little bit of cover I end up taking a guy out there and my chopper takes out a guy and then I obviously have this RC car left don't really know if it does anything I can't really remember I'm pretty sure I just drive around with it forever and never find anybody I was gonna go try and kill the guy back in the spawn with it there as he wasn't playing last round but obviously he is now I believe I come in here notice that there's nobody there and that I'm pretty much screwed and I can't get back downstairs so I just blow it up and uh, and take myself back out with my gun uh, that's one thing I also like to do in the search and when it gets down to not very many people left and I can't really find them or I get myself in a bad spot where it would take a lot of driving to get out uh, I just blow the car up I mean there's no point in really uh, forcing yourself in the car too much. Now I know a lot of people think that it's an annoying kill streak, but I only use it in search pretty much for that fact and for the fact that, you know, 
it takes a person out in search, which pretty much every time, not counting if you get a double or something. And um, I believe that's a big bonus. So this is the end of the game already. 11 and 0, quick little search and destroy on Villa. Hope you guys enjoyed it and like to come out, check out my channel. Uh, anyway, see you guys later. Peace.